Hi, I'm Rob McNaughton, the lead technical artist for Team One. I've worked on StarCraft, WarCraft 3, and StarCraft 2. I work with Team One, we're the team that makes StarCraft 2. We're here today to talk about art tools. Blizzard has a great history of releasing awesome editors with their games, and now we're gonna make them even stronger with the art tools. The art tools are the connection between where you make your raw assets, Photoshop for textures, 3ds Max for your models and animation, things like that, into a format that the game engine can consume. These art tools are a set of plugins and scripts for 3ds Max 2011, and they are the exact art tools that our artists use to make Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm. They are a set of tools that allow us to make animations, particle systems, whatever you need, and drop them right in the game. So these tools are gonna be a big upgrade for people. This is the solution that we use internally on the StarCraft team to get our art from source images into the game and, and now it's available to content creators. We've designed it in a way to give very quick feedback. It's really awesome to be able to tweak a particle system and you see the results right on your screen. These tools are now available right here at this link. It comes with art tool documentation and tutorials written by our best technical artists. It gives you everything you need to plug in your stuff to 3ds Max and get it running into the game. There's a ton of templates and examples in there. The documentation is galore. You can always hit us up at our website at starcraft2.com. In our forums, we have a section for community content development, and there's actually one dedicated to art tools in the cutscene editor. There will be Team One developers and engineers ready to help out with some of the tougher questions. Every day, I check out Arcade and I see something new and interesting, and then you see the next guy come along and mix it up with his own ideas, and it's always something new and exciting to check out. If you're a 3D artist, please give these art tools a try. We look forward to your feedback to make these tools even better for the future. Oh